Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, it's my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. Hello and welcome back to Detective Jeff Shepard. As you heard first, another naked body. Unfortunately, that means I'm going to have to cut it out again. But that's okay though. Hopefully it doesn't um, interfere too much in the actual case of the game for those uh, Team Drift viewers that are watching. Also, thank you for those who have subscribed and have uh, watched my videos. It does mean a lot to me. I am doing this more for... Uh, full time at the moment but even when I do get a job it's not gonna really handle it too much I'm sitting and put my all into the videos and bring you guys good content because uh, that's what I want to do so with that let's get back to the case we are not driving the detective Cole Phillips Sorry, Dusty, or uh, what his actual name is, but you're driving. You're behind the wheel. Also, I'm eating some good you have the homemade address? peanut butter cookies. The alley off so the good. The in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, Yeah, naked. yeah, yeah, we know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? From a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Stockings. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. Let's hope that's not the uh, actual weapon, but that's what to say. It's a lot of blood. May as well follow the trail. I think it's way to the garbage can, so let's definitely take a look at what happened. But uh, like I said, uh, we're gonna. Have, I am gonna have to edit out the uh, naked bodies on this one and the last one. So this is part ten of the homicide case. A hat. Oh, excuse me, a hat. Antonia. Same as a library card. Let's see. Thanks. It's a lot of blood. So it looks like it's going all the way over here. This is where it ends. Very suspicious. Here's a heel shoe. Proximity to the scene, plus the blood stains. No way is this coincidence. Civil satchel. Stuff. 
Still continues on to the other side. Yikes. On it goes. Whatever, uh, whoever did this, it's very disturbing to see that it's taking this much. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Thank you, much appreciated. Heh, <laughs> more kill mosquitoes. Super satchel is obvious, but uh, definitely not better to take a look. Nothing in there. So what the fuck? Key. Number five. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. Hmm. I think he's trying to lead us somewhere. Probably all the way to City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. Here's something here. That's got to be a code or a cipher. So we got dots. We got a long blood trail. Definitely abnormal for how much is gone into this. I, oh, it's this thing. Okay, my bad. So let's see. Uh oh, it goes up the wall. Hmm. Where are you taking us? This is very, very disturbing for where uh, this could be going, possibly. I gotta say, this is one very, very sick maniac. Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? So we have a name. He clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. You got a new M.O. I told you it wasn't our guy. Or he might just be getting more confident. Another piece of evidence. Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. Uh oh, up the wall again. The trail points up. Yep, that it does. For someone to go through this much trouble, this is extremely disturbing to uh, see this going on like this. Honestly, if this is actually what happened in your life as a cop, I don't know if you'd be able to do this. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? So he found the ring, but there's still more blood, so I don't know what he's trying to do. Oh, there's a paint. He painted it on? Oh my goodness. Looks yeah, as yeah. though the killer was decorating with this. Does look like it. There's a bucket. Is the half of the code? Son of a bitch wants her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. We got that. Oh. No pets allowed. Please see housekeeper within for 
Is that for me? Room is 35 cents. Bed is 15 cents. Guess it's not too bad for price back in those days. Wait just a moment! I'm sorry. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Oh, boy. Hey, Cole. Let's get moving. Yes. I'm moving. So she said a lot. So it'll be this way. Nope, it's was five, right? Did you look at that? Someone's turned the place over. Okay, we have an address. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Mm -mm. The smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. So someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. I wonder where it was taken from. <laughs> he climbs up the window anyways. I don't think there's any way around here, but... We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. Hmm. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, little on the religious side, but a good girl. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. 
you've been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Hmm. You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. I think that may be a cues. The window's broken. The room's been tossed. You seem like the type of landlady who notices everything that happens under her roof. What gives? Don't take that tone of voice with me, young man. Yeah, it might have been an accused one. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Hmm. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Not bad through the pool. Oh, uh, the one. Lock him up and throw away the key. LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. <laughs> but yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? <laughs> yeah. Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. Hmm. I'll show you. My eggs were running. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was gonna show him. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Hmm. He's telling the truth. Did she leave with anyone? No. She wanted a cab, but my payphone ain't working, so I couldn't call her one. Ah, uh, shucks. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. Hmm. You've been a big help. One or two, not two. No problem. Be bad. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. We'll do. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Mm -hmm. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. You want a tip? Refill my coffee next time, honey. You He's ought to meet Joe's to buddy. He's nice. Really? He drove me up to Mulholland and we did some necking. <laughs> Pink. No, there's gotta be more to it then than that. Maybe we come back later. It is a good possibility, but. Uh, 
I'm thinking, let's check the back lane just real quickly to see. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. Fine, thanks. Just picked fruit market. How many slices of lemon does this place go through? So we got some new evidence. Let's go back in and maybe talk to the uh, bartender. Uh, we're doing a lot of commentary. Definitely gotta keep uh, drinking a lot of liquids just to uh, not dry up your mouth. Oh, there is out here. Alvinado. Alvinado is in apartment 304. So let's go up to 304. Where are we at? Two, so it's one more up. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. <clears throat> oh, he's wanting a fight, eh? Hmm. I got it. Stand, Stand down boys. now. Ooh, you knocked my hat off. How could you? I got it. Fuck. Ooh, quick. <clears throat> Sit down, if you know what's good for you. Damn, they got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Mm -hmm. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I killed my own wife? You get the whole place of going over, then talk to the neighbors. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Just picked hmm. fruit market. Suppliers to the El Dorado. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. So that's twice that they uh, did that. Out of Rado. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. So we might have to go back there again, which is a high possibility. That uh, your truly detective Drift Shepherd uh, has to go back. Shut. Great. 
We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. Hmm. So I guess we'll go back to the event. Uh, let's go back and uh, see if we might have missed uh, something possible. Decent lookout, but it's not what we're here for. I've missed something, I just don't know exactly what I might have missed. Don't have enough yet. Ah, here we go. This will take some explaining. So he has blood on the sleeve, and he also got blood around the collar. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated. And uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Hmm. Well, that's good to see you at the teens. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Hmm? Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag, too, Phelps. Well executed restraint. <laughs> I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. <laughs> oh, boy. Operator, give me dispatch. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Messages, please. Message from Captain Donnelly, Detective. Your presence is requested urgently at Central Station. A new letter from the Dahlia Killer has been found. Mm -mm. Thanks. It's not good. Uh, definitely means something is about to go down and possibly one of the last... Captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Downstairs, eh? Hmm. They're waiting down at Tech Services, Phelps. I don't know what makes you so stupid, but it really works. That wasn't a nice thing to say, ma'am. Please hit that back. So, car. you gonna see your married man again? I wanna make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. Sam's taking me out to Palm Springs for the weekend. He ran the light on Olympic, and we finally collared him on Temple. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. His information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. 
The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. Sure you did. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Oh, now let's go upstairs. Phelps, I gave it to mind coming here and doing your job for a second. Oops. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. So if you didn't kill your wife, who did? You better come up with something, Angel. This doesn't look good. Fuck you. I loved my wife. You're good, kid. You murder your wife and you just sit there as cool as a cucumber. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. <clears throat> well. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size eight. What difference does that make? When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Hmm. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. I don't believe that. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something, or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Ippolito, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. 
She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. Hmm. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. So, looks like the food market is possibly the last location to uh, be going to, from the looks of it. He's not off the hook, but I think Can you drive to this one? guy that was playing his eyes on him might... Might be the guy. We'll have to go in and see. Sir, I'm the. Wait, you look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Oh, okay, so it's either a good cop or bad cop. Let's say good cop. What about a charm bracelet? No, can't say I noticed that. Ah, uh, bad cop. The young lady... Arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Use the phone for a cab and then left. Hmm. You already oh, knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. She seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Hmm. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Same boots. Cut someone who's already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. They must have seen it during the war. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Oh, what up? Two, five, three. Two.
This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! Guilty. Nether cop pursuit. God damn it, get after him, Cole! I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. You gotta get the fruit guy's getting away, Phelps. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Now who's about to get picked? Got him. Guilty as charged. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. There he does. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. <laughs> The poor course, woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind them the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. And he's gonna go with these two. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. Never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where are you dragged up? A swamp? So with that case solved, uh, the second one will be coming up pretty soon, uh, the homicide case. Until next time, uh, also don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned for more content. If you are liking the playthrough of Ali Noir on the PS4, don't forget, forget to like the button. Also stay tuned for more content, this is Detective Jeff Shepard signing.